to EMG Nation boxing fans. ¿Qué onda? What is going on? Insomnia from the Mexican Gamers channel. Bring you guys this Fight Night Champion gameplay. And we're going to talk about Canelo Alvarez in this fight. So the gameplay is just for the background. It's Kelly Pavlik versus Canelo Alvarez or, or the fighter that I had to download as Canelo Alvarez, right? Because Canelo is not in the game in Fight Night Champion. But this gameplay is, is, is computers fighting each other. It's PC or, or computer versus computer. It's a simulation pretty much. So... Here we go, man. We're just going to talk about, about this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ignore the gameplay. It's not important. But, um, yeah, we're going to talk about Canelo Alvarez because there's exciting news, man. He finally has, as of right now, as I'm, I'm recording this gameplay, this commentary, it's not confirmed, though. It's not confirmed. What am I talking about? The possibility of a unif unification bout versus a title holder, WBA title holder, Austin Trout, right? So, uh, Canelo Critics finally say hey man finally a test a real test for canelo alvarez so i mean they gotta be happy man and i'm happy about it too but like i said it's not confirmed as of now i mean it's, it's pretty much it, it, all they need to fix is the details um canelo tweeted i think he tweeted um may 4th uh, canelo versus austin trout mgm grand or something like that he tweeted that so he this fight would be a co-feature a undercard for the Robert Guerrero versus Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight, which would obviously be the main event in May 4th in celebration of the Cinco de Mayo. They always try to capture that market. I mean, Cinco de Mayo, I heard one ESPN analyst um, say Cinco de Mayo, you know, weekend is like a boxing Super Bowl, which I thought was a really, really good way to put it. Um, Cinco de Mayo is actually my birthday, May 5th. So it's awesome, man, because part of the reason or a big part of the reason why my birthday is always epic is because they, there's always huge boxing fights or big boxing fights that day or or you know may 4th so i mean it's awesome it's awesome you know i, I cook out and then you know there's always a, a a big fight that day i think last year there was uh, canelo alvarez versus sugar shane mosley on may 4th or may 5th one of those two days so i mean there's always good good fights in in may 4th they're always going to try to capture that market but this fight has, has something more to it, you know. N not only is both of these fighters, Austin Trouts and Canelo Alvarez's record, not only are they on the line, not only are th are their titles on the line, you know, because both of these fighters are undefeated. But there's also something more to it, a little bit, uh, another catch to it, because the winner of this fight has is a big chance of facing Floyd Mayweather in September. You know what I mean? So if you if you win, if you Canelo defeats Austin Trout in May, there's a big chance that he'll open the doors for for a fight versus Floyd Money Floyd Money May in in September. You know, so there's there's a lot more on the line than just they're both these fighters undefeated records and, and their titles. You know, because I mean, think about it, man. This is a perfect scenario for Canelo Alvarez. I'm speaking as a Canelo fan and as a Mexican boxing fan. You know, Canelo defeating Austin Trout, which which is not going to be easy, man. Because Austin Trout is coming off of defeating Miguel Cotto in New York by decision. And, and, you know, in front of his people. There's a lot of Puerto Rican support there for Miguel Cotto in, in New York. He, he beats him by decision. He looks good. I mean, he's a WBA title holder. He's undefeated. So, it's, this guy is no pushover. Um, you know, boxing analysts, critics know this. This is going to be a, a very evenly matched fight. A Finally, a test to... To Canelo's record to to his skills you know we'll see what he's really made out of in this fight so I mean it's, it's it'll be huge though if, if he defeats Austin Trout in May um, if it's confirmed actually and then he fights he opens the doors to a fight a huge fight in September with Floyd Money Mayweather you know so both these fighters know that that's a possibility you know that's a possibility this fight winning this fight would open doors for them for something bigger in boxing and, and they're gonna they're gonna go all out man they both want want the victory obviously but like i said it's it's not confirmed you know a, according to to this report that i was reading all this should be settled you know the fight between canelo and austin trout whether it's it's gonna happen or not it should be confirmed within the next 24 hours and there's few things that they're they're debating you know if canelo is actually on the card you know if, he, if he's actually gonna fight in in this in this money mayweather versus versus uh, robert guerrero fight if he's actually going to be on the card 
And if he is in the card, if it, is it going to be actually with Austin Trout or is it going to be somebody else? So you see it's not even confirmed yet. Or, you know, if, if he's going to fight in a different day. They're going to confirm that in the next 24 hours. You know, if he's actually going to be in this card with uh, Floyd Money Mayweather. If he's going to fight Trout. If he is actually in the card. Or is he going to choose to fight another day. We'll, we'll find this out. We'll see in, in the next 24 hours. So, I'll keep you guys posted, man. But, um, yeah, man. What do, you, what do you guys feel about this? Now, it's a time where I ask you for, for your opinions. What do you feel? Is Canelo finally going to be put to the test? Do you think he has a chance? Or do, do you think, I mean, which would be a wrong way to think about it, in my opinion, that he's easily going to defeat Austin Trout, that Austin Trout is a pushover. And this is just another one of those fights that, you know, they, they, they cherry pick for Canelo Alvarez, according to his critics and stuff like that. But I don't think so, man. I don't think th this isn't a cherry pick fight. I mean, this fight... It has, it has to happen. Both fighters are evenly matched, undefeated title holders. I mean, this is this is what I want to see. This is what is it's good for boxing, man. It's good for boxing. Another huge thing that happened was Mayweather decided to leave HBO pay per view. You know, he he decided to leave. He decided to go to with with Showtime, which is huge for Showtime. It's huge for Showtime. So I mean, that that's that's big, man. That has to suck. HBO has to be mad, man. <laughs> he has to be mad. But um, man. So huge things coming from boxing. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Finally, looks like we're, we're gonna have some good fights. I mean, in the Mayweather versus Robert Guerrero fight, I don't, I don't know, man. I see Mayweather as 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 the winner in this fight, but I, anything can happen in boxing. You know, you see what happened with uh, Marquez and Pacquiao. No one really expected Marquez to knock him out. Maybe some people expected him to win, but not to knock him out the way that it that it happened. You know, and. Hey man, you never know. Nothing, anything could happen in boxing. Robert Guerrero versus Floyd Mayweather. I see Mayweather as as the obviously the the favorite, but <laughs> you never know. Mayweather's been out of it for for a little while now. So that's it, man. That's all I had for you guys. Thank you guys for your time. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the the, the video. And leave me your opinions in the comments below, man. Canelo Alvarez, what, what do you think about this new fight? If it's actually confirmed, I think it's going to be great. I'm going to enjoy it because it's going to be in, in my birthday that weekend, May 4th. My birthday is in Cinco de Mayo and May 5th. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. But thank you guys for watching. The, this fight went like 12 rounds. It was, it was crazy to edit it because it was really long. But thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out, bros. Take care.